This is something that was brought up on Telflator Mouse. I just did a bunch of searching and found four or five sources of data. The SKSA, Survival Knife Arrow Shooting Accessory, from Taylor Cutlery. This was created by a specific person who eventually got angry at the way it was produced and didn't want his name associated with it, and it went on to have another life at a later date. So here we go. This is what it looked like in the box, and you can see the very large nut or bolt on the bottom right there. That screwed into the back end of the old style hollow knife handled knives. These were uh, big hunting knives that had hollow handles that you could put all sorts of random accessories in. Everybody my age had one. <coughs> if you didn't, well, you weren't cool. Anyway, you can see it's two pieces of metal and basically a bolt or nut. In this case, it looks like it's permanently stamped in. That's what the knife looked like. And the person who invented the thing didn't like the way the knife was. Uh, he was, he, he didn't like the way the company made the knives. The arrows have those notches up at the front because it makes it easier for most people to do this and it makes a simpler slingshot to shoot the arrows. Do not use this system, blah, blah, until you thoroughly read the, ma the manual. This is from an auction site copying page. They copied it off of eBay. This was available two different auctions on eBay a few years ago. And that's what it looked like in the box. And this is literally new in the box, 1980s. Probably a design in the 1990s, or excuse me, 1970s. But you can see there, again, really, really good job there on the bolt. A big freaking bolt. Basically, these were based on a hunk of metal pipe that you mounted a handle to. Somebody created the original hollow knife, was doing it mostly just to make a lightweight knife that was knife blade heavy to make a throwing knife and make a cheap one. And that's what it looked like when you assembled it as a slingshot. The guards on the front and back were mostly so that the arrow couldn't possibly hit the hand or reduce the safety problems. Of course, this didn't really work, obviously. It would hurt people. And the rollers that that uh, belt goes back and forward through weren't really made to where they were barrel bearing based, so it wore out faster. The person who created the idea for it and the patent or attempted to patent it didn't like that one darn bit. And in the end, it had the standard, you know, compass and you'll shoot your eye out reference, of course. And there you can see that it was literally put in with a screw on top going into the plate so you could break this down further. Now most of us just bought the wrist rocket and put a piece of tape across between the two arms so we could f fire arrows. We figured out you could use full-sized arrows with them. Uh, I even cut a specific type of pouch in to where I could fire arrows or rocks or BBs. And this is the later version from Arizona something something archives. I can't really read it. It's too blurry. But at that one, you can see it's a takedown. You, that top part there is actually showing the bolt part that would go into that knife that was a folding knife version. And it would shoot little two-piece arrows. But it's almost identical. And it was called the x Parabo. And this was given a, um, a copyright or trademark status by the Little River Knives of Hendersonville, North Carolina. And it was done um, Christmas, uh, around Christmas, uh, December 13th, 1993. And uh, that's what that one looks like. And, uh, I mean, it was pretty simple. Anybody could build these. In fact, the frame you're looking at, if you look at it really close, I'm just going to zoom in as much as I can here. This piece here that's curved is identical to this piece here that's curved. They made them the same way out of a chunk of metal, chopped it into pieces, flipped one way and way, one one the other, and then mounted this here, or they just made it out of aluminum. And you could make these yourself. In fact, uh, there's a variation on this done a much more useful way with lots of ball bearings on the slingshot channel. And that's what it looked like uh, stood up. The 1980s Taylor SKSA Survival Knife Arrow Shooting Accessory System screwed into the hollow handle Rambo knives of the day. Taylor Cutlery sales were blocked by Jim Guletti, who created it because of the unsafe arrow design they decided to include with it, no ball bearings or bearing sets in the slingshot rollers, bad blade hilt fit, and bad tempering on the blade. Later in uh, 1993, Little River Knives of Hendersonville, North Carolina trademarked it as the X9 Parabo. See also Blade Magazine, 1988, uh, October, and I can't link to it because it's under dynamic, yada yada, so that's about it. And yes, it shows a guy about to use a slingshot to try to take out a wild boar. I, I can't even. But yeah, this is something anybody could make. It was probably considered obvious to a designer. 
at the time, and that's the big bolt version that normally would be used. And it would fit, it, this would fit into any Rambo knife at the time. So the cutlery company was not relevant. And that's the modified version that would fit in the butt end of a folder knife, which actually kind of is more practical. But then again, most of us just carried uh, our own version of the sling bow by just making a slingshot out of a piece of wire that was bent up to be a, uh, well, a wrist rocket. We would make our own wrist rockets. R wrist rockets were made illegal in some areas, so we just went ahead and did that uh, ourselves. So, uh, well, that's pretty much it. That's your uh, sling bow there. And yeah, we, uh, we modified our slingshots just to shoot full-sized arrows. And this is a cool design, I guess, but it's clunky, it's heavy. And I know of a way to make it to where it would have fit as part of the wrist of the knife. Um, I actually did one myself and it was badly made, but it was just basically the fork sections. That's all. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.